In this video, we take the Spring Authorization Server story one step further. You can follow the Spring Authorization Server playlist via the link in the upper right corner. Today we are going to configure an OAuth 2.0 password grant type in the Spring Authorization Server. First we look at Insomnia for the result. We make a POST request to the token endpoint of the Spring Authorization Server. In the Authorization tab we gave Client ID as username and Client Secret as password. In the Query tab we give Grant Type Custom Password Username User and Password Password. When we send the request we get a Access Token and a refresh token. On the JWT.io website, we can view the access token we just received from the Spring Authorization Server. In addition to the client data, we also have the username and authorities of the user. We can now go to Eclipse to look at the code. First, the Maven POM XML file. By now, we are using Spring Boot 3.0.4. The version of the Spring Security OAuth 2 authorization server is 1.0.1. .1. We start with the code from the previous video in this series. You can find this video via the link in the upper right corner. In the Security Config class we are only going to discuss the most important pieces of code. In the first security filter chain we have the token endpoint configuration. We will create a new access token request converter, custom password authentication converter, and a new authentication provider. Custom password authentication provider. In this provider, we have the authorization service, the token generator, and the user details service. The authorization service bean is an in memory OAuth 2 authorization service. Also, the user details service bean is an in-memory user details manager. In the registered client repository, we have a small modification. Here we need to configure our custom grant type. In the token generator bean, we configure OAuth 2 access token generator and the OAuth 2 refresh token generator. Furthermore, we have the token customizer bean to be able to pass the user and authorities with the access token. We return everything as a delegating OAuth 2 token generator. The custom password authentication converter implements an authentication converter. We need to override one method. Convert. First we check that the grant type is correct. Then the scopes. The username. And the password. The requested scopes is a possibility but is not used in our example. In the additional parameters the username and password are filtered out of the request. Finally we need the authentication. We can get this from the security context holder. We return everything as a custom password authentication token with the client principle, the requested scopes, and the additional parameters. The Custom Password Authentication Token class extends the OAuth 2 Authorization Grant Authentication Token class. In this class, we filter the username and password from the additional parameters and make them available as Get Username and Get Password. Also, the set of scopes are available, but as mentioned before, they are not used in this example. The last class is the Custom Password Authentication Provider class which implements the Authentication Provider interface. We have the following private variables. Error URL Authorization Service User Details Service Token Generator Username Password and Authorized Scopes In the constructor from the security config class, the authorization service, user details service, token generator, are configured. We have two overrides. Authenticate. 
and supports. The supports method checks if the request is of the type custom password authentication token class. If this is the case then the authenticate method comes into action. First we follow the custom password authentication token, the OAuth2 client authentication token, and the registered client from the authentication. Then we extract the username and password from the custom password authentication token. Now we can load the user from the user details service and see if the username and password are correct. As we do it here, the username is case sensitive. If everything is correct we retrieve the set of authorized scopes. The next step is to create a new security context holder context with the username and authorities. We need it in the token customizer of the security config class. The final step is to create the tokens. First, a default OAuth2 token context builder and an OAuth2 authorization builder. To generate the OAuth2 access token and OAuth2 refresh token using the token generator we received from the security config class. Then we can save the OAuth2 authorization in the authorization service. And return the OAuth2 access token authentication token. This is it for today. Thanks for following our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.